chugga 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 <laughs> Yep, it's that time again. Time to cover the latest hype train. The latest stonker. That set is going to make you finally let you move out of your parents' basement. The set that's going to make Papa Elon look poor. Eevee Heroes. Eevee Heroes has, has finally arrived. And people are going crazy over it because all these evolutions got these gorgeous, gorgeous alternate arts. And people are now looking to park money. And not only that, but they're also getting extremely hyped for Evolving Skies. Now, to just clarify, this is an Is Eevee Heroes Investable? We're going to be breaking it down, really looking at the pros and cons to it. And to an extent, Evolving Skies. There's no Japanese set out there that is not directly tied to its English counterpart because typically the English will outdo the Japanese unless if we're talking specialty sets, then that's a different story. So let's get started. First and foremost, EV Heroes is going to be a part of Evolving Skies. EV Heroes is a Japanese set, not a specialty set, a mainstay set. Granted, it is smaller than your typical sets. Knowing that, first and foremost, Japan ha tends to allocate their sets far more. They don't do multiple ways of reprint in the same way that the English TCG does. They usually do the one period of time where for f whenever supplies come into market and then after that it's done. However, that has not always been true. This past year, and maybe this year, I don't know, I might not be, I'm not certain on this one. They have reprinted a very small number of sets, one of which was uh, Tag All Stars GX. This one took everyone by surprise because it was a specialty set, and Shiny Star V as well also got reprinted. I believe Japanese Cosmic Eclipse also got reprinted. That one really hit, came out of nowhere. That tells me that Japan is starting to shift their habits a little more. They are more willing to do reprints in order to control the prices of their products. So this now adds a layer of risk to Japanese product that wasn't really there before, because well, keep in mind, Japanese modern products were like worthless. They were dirt cheap. You could buy them for like 30 bucks all day for, for a while, because you just, no one wanted them. It was there, and you, you know Steam Siege? These things were worth less than Steam Siege. People cared less about them. All right, just keep that in mind. Now, the pros to the Eevee Heroes. One, undeniably, undeniably, Japanese boxes absolutely dwarf the English counterparts. They do. Look at this gorgeous little box. Yeah. Gorgeous, looks fantastic. Yeah, looks great. Now then, look at this garbage. Look at it. This looks like a birthday present I'd give someone if I hated them. So you get my point. Not exactly the best presentation on the English side. Japanese has the advantage. Not to mention, Japanese tends to have better card quality. So these are the primary th assets on Japanese side. And right now it's the first to market because in Evolving Skies doesn't come out until later this year. Knowing all this, what are the cons? First and foremost, never forget this. Many of you are very new to the game or very new to Japanese. Japanese does not move that fast. It really doesn't. You're going to have to sell online because most people won't want to buy locally. You're going to have to probably negotiate with people because, again, some people want to be able to read their cards even if they don't play with them. Some people just don't like Japanese. You're taking the collector market, which let's say a box is $100. $100. A lot of people are, don't feel comfortable spending that much. You're now shrinking that amount even further into people who want cards that are in a language they don't understand. So you need to be ready to hold said products for an extended period of time. These are the primary downfalls of Japanese products, and most people are not going to be ready to have the kind of patience you need to hold said product. 
Let me give you a perfect example. I have a Japanese Plasma Storm booster box, XY Plasma Storm. That booster box, when I bought it last year, was $300. Well, at the same time when that one existed, the English Plasma Storm booster box was about six or seven thousand dollars and they've been around roughly the same amount of time well technically plasma storm the japanese was not only prettier it was older and it was a fraction of the price now english plasma storm is what fifteen thousand i i genuinely don't know okay i don't know how much the box is worth now that box is about three thousand dollars maybe and that, that's very difficult to move. So that gives you a really good idea of the relationship between these products. The biggest key factor you must never forget, you must genuinely think about this, keep it in the back of your mind, is opportunity cost. Can this money be put to better use somewhere else? If you could throw this money into the S&P and it's gonna do, perform better, do not put it into that item. That is what you're trying to do. You're trying to keep up with the S&P and inflation, so you need an annual return, at least right now, of roughly 10%, or beat it. And Japanese sets, I just don't really see them giving those kinds of returns. That's a very risky area to move in. Now, evolving skies, this is what we really got to talk about. Why is it? Ask yourself, why would someone go ahead and purchase EV Heroes when you could turn around and go to Evolving Skies, which is, if it has EV Heroes, it will be the de facto superior set. Reason for that, it is going to be, allegedly, it is a Duraludon and Rayquaza set. No one cares about Duraludon, that's just like the speed bump. Rayquaza has, is very high up there. I think it's probably A or S tier in terms of popularity. It's had a few sets dedicated to itself, Ancient Origins being one of them. I think uh, Roaring Skies even had a good Rayquaza in it. Yeah, it did. Having Duraludon, Rayquaza, who will undoubtedly have alternate arts, because so far every single flagship for the set has had alternate arts. And if Eevee Heroes is in that set, and most of their alternate arts make it, why would you spend the money it's going to cost you to get Eevee Heroes? In a language you don't understand, when you could turn around and spend that money on a set that has a stronger card diversity and is in a language you can read and is going to be the exact same art. The only difference is, is the border. I believe it goes from silver to yellow. I prefer silver personally. Genuinely ask yourself that. That's what you're competing with. It's literally the... Uh, it's literally that the embodiment of, yeah, this is nice, but this is just better. Like, it's just straight up better. And that's what you're competing with. It is essentially just a product that cannibalizes itself because it's the in technically the inferior version of the other one. Some die-hard fans who just like the art and think and prefer card quality will go with Japanese, but historically, the numbers have shown people don't care that much about that. People want it in a language they understand and they want easy access to it. When it comes to these Japanese cards, quite a few of them you gotta order them from Japan and it's gonna take you a good little while for it to arrive. Whereas if you get the if you get the English one, what? If you if you uh, just buy one and they send it a plain white envelope in case takes a few days that's about it you buy plenty it'll get to you in like two days so you see my point overall do I think EV Heroes is investable uh, like pretty much everything else in the Pokemon hobby it technically is but when you truly break it down when you look at the pros and cons when you look at the opportunity cost all the other places and not let's not even talk about let's not even talk about other hobbies or other places to park money let's just talk pokemon when you have vintage which has reached its bear market when you have pseudo vintage which is honestly like not even moved most of the time it's been really slow and that kind of draws my attention when you have other sealed products that are just definitively better 
why would you park your money in that when those theoretically have less of a chance of retracing further and could potentially have better redeems than EV heroes? The opportunity cost just isn't there. Not to mention the risk you're incurring because you're competing with the superior version and you are now running the risk of it getting reprinted just like they would a regular English set. So that's it. That's my thoughts. And tell me guys, what do you think about EV Heroes? Do you genuinely think this could outperform the English set? If you do, please tell me why. If you think EV Heroes is abs an absolute no-go, you gotta wait a couple years, let the market settle down, buy whenever it really hits those low prices, then tell me about what price are you looking for? Now, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.